welcome back to my channel. Today what we're going to be doing is making a French country farmhouse DIY. Um, my husband had this big container, it's metal. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So let me show you what you'll need in case you wanna make this project. This is so versatile. You could do so much for it. If this turns out like I want, this is going to be gorgeous, okay? So you just need some kind of metal container. Uh, this is just metal, and I've gone ahead and put um, some gesso on it, so you'll need some gesso, okay? So I've already done that for time purposes, and then I painted it white with my Apple Barrel white paint from Walmart, okay? And that's what I've done so far because it had a lot of different colors on it and I was trying to get rid of those colors. Plus, like I said, I always try to seal um, my items before I paint them with the gesso. I really believe you use less paint and the color is a lot truer. Okay, okay so you're gonna need some kind of metal container. You could do this with plastic as well. I've painted plastic, it looks gorgeous, okay? So you need that. Then I'm going to be using, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the Waverly Chalk Paint in Hazelnut. I love this color. It is just so rich looking. And then I'm going to be using some Waverly Chalk Paint in the Truffle. I think that just gives it such a rich look for dimension. And I may add some Folk Art Metallic Chocolate Brown. I've used this so many times and some metallic royal gold. This would even fit in nicely with Tuscan decor, okay? Now, I may use um, some of my uh, Craft Smart Premium Metallic Wax, either in the rose gold or in the gold. I'm not sure if I'll use it. Um, and then I may use some Liquitex that I got at Joann's. Um, it's just the gloss gel, and I've used that before. You're going to need a dauber, which you can pick up at Walmart in a big package, okay? A foam brush, um, a smaller brush, a palette knife or a plastic knife, something that you can just put on um, the Liquitex if we use it. You're gonna need some painter's tape, and then this stencil that I hauled quite a while ago, I got on clearance at Joann's for $2.47, but I think this looks so uh, French country. I'm so excited, okay? And um, let me go get another set of brushes we'll probably need. Okay, and I'll probably use this brush. Um, I got it in a pack of three. It's a three inch brush from Joann's, and then it comes with a two inch and a one inch. So, but I'd say I'll use this, okay? So let me get everything ready and we'll get started. I'm so excited. I think this is going to be beautiful. I hope it turns out. Okay, and I just have some scrap of wood, um, different, I have three pieces and I'm just gonna set it here to kind of elevate this because it'll make it a lot easier when I go to paint it and I won't have to worry about getting any, you know, having problems getting down there where I need it. And they're roughly the same size, so it just balances out nicely, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take this Waverly Chalk Paint in Hazelnut. Okay, I'm just gonna open this Hazelnut Chalk Paint up. And I'm gonna pour out a little bit. about that much and what we're going to do is just come down through here and paint this I love for things to look full, so I'm not gonna be bothered if it has a 
has an old, old look. And that's what we're getting so far. It's kind of hard for you to see. And like I said, you could do anything you wanted to with this. Um, you could put any collar you wanted on this. But I really think this is going to give us a nice, rich, rich look. And just keep playing with it until you get it like you like it. Okay, so I know you know what I'm doing. I know you get the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to paint this. And when I get it finished, I'll be right back. Okay, I have it all painted. Um, I wanna show you, I did this bottom part with the brush and it's a little too, I don't know, it just looks messy. Now I like it around this rim, this little ring that goes around the center. I deliberately pulled it off of there. But I'm taking my um, little foam brush now and just going over right through here and just pulling it down to give it a smoother look. And I'm loving how that's turning out. So that's what I'm doing. But I just wanted to let you know I did switch to this brush. So I'll be right back as soon as I get this done. Okay, here it is. And I like this much, much better. I like that little band that goes through there. I like being able to see that. But I think it looks neater to me, okay? So I've been wondering about taking this truffle chalk paint and just sort of dry brushing a very, very small amount on here. I go back and forth between that and the mineral, but I think I'm going to try this, but it would take such a small, small amount. I may just get it out of the top. And here goes. I'm liking that. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> Sometimes it's scary. <laughs> They're like, ah. I'm going to get it around the bottom. I think it's adding so much to it. I'm so, so glad that I did it. I don't want to get rid of all this light, but I do like some of that dark. I think it adds so much. You can't really be afraid. I mean, I was Larry, but you have, if, if that's what you think you want to do, follow your instincts because it was pretty, but it needed something to punch it up. So don't, all, don't ever be afraid. I mean, the worst that could have happened is I just had to repaint it. Because there's not much you can't correct with paint. Get a little bit more out. But I had so many different ideas that I wanted to do with this. So if my husband can come up with another one of these, I have some something else I want to do. I don't know if he'll be able to get them or not, another one or not. But if he can, you bet you'll see it. <laughs> Oh, it just looks so old. And now I'm getting a little braver. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I think right in here needs just a little bit of something. 
And this paint really dries fast. I did take a hair dryer to it. Okay, now I'm going to do the top. I can't forget my top. This is a messy project though. I will, I will say that. But well worth it. And just, oh, you can't even see, I'm sorry. And just kind of go down and around. Like I said, you don't want to turn it all dark, but it definitely has to match this. And then just kind of come down on the sides. it needs something right in here but like I said you can definitely do this with plastic um, I'll link behind this some things that I've painted with plastic that have been plastic and they actually look like wood when I'm through and it's so easy and so pretty okay so this is the lid okay and then this is our container. I love how that just looks so old. You can see it was just a metal container, but I love how it looks. Okay, now what we want to do is figure out, I think I'm going to make this my front. You could do so much with this if you wanted, you could um, definitely take um, um, flowers and put in this you could you could do so much I mean it's endless it almost looks like a churn to me an old churn so I don't know what I'm gonna pretend in my mind that it is but it's really pretty I know that okay so I'm going to get this stencil and I'm still not 100% sure, do I want to do the um, liquid text or just take paint and put it on here? I cannot decide. Oh, okay. Now, just try to get it as best you can in the center I mean, you could measure if you want. I never do. I just eyeball it, and I'm gonna use my painter's tape to help it stay where I want. And it helps if you already have it torn off. Now some of these may get a little hairy here on the corners because I've got to go around it. Mm. Okay, you have to let your paint dry or this painter tape will take it off. Um, right here is a little spot that came off and I just dabbed my paint back on, but I don't really want to um, take a chance that it'll pull it off and I've never had that problem before. So what I think I'm going to do is Okay, what I've decided to do, since the tape is gonna take it off, I don't have a spray adhesive, which would probably take it off as well. I'm just going to hold it with my hands and try to eyeball this. And we will see. And this is one project you definitely have to seal. Because if you don't seal it, it's going to come off. Getting this, this dark paint right here, and we are just going to ever so lightly tap. And 
and try not to move there. And if it comes out a little light, that's not going to bother me. I hope it doesn't bleed behind this, but it may. trick is just to make sure you put out a lot of paint so if you have to double dip again which you know you're going to have to um, and we're going to try to do this side and then give all of my attention to the other side I think I just moved it a little but it's supposed to look old Like I said, if it just barely comes through, oh, I did move it. Okay, let's try to eyeball it back up. And then let's go back to this side. I hope this turns out. Okay, let's see if we got it all. I think we did. Oh, it did turn out. Oh. Okay, that is pretty. That is great considering the fact that I had to hold it. I'm thrilled with it. I really do love how that turned out, okay? And you could put it as dark or as light as you want. I'm loving that, okay? Now, um, if you wanted, you could put the same design on the lid, but I don't think I want to. I'm going to take a little bit of this chocolate metallic brown. Let's go to the lid and see. Because the lid can be a little different. But I love how that turned out. Okay, let's just get a little bit of this. Kind of see what just a little bit of this would do. It's not really that noticeable, but it just gives it a little sheen, which I like. You can see it's really not that noticeable, so you really wouldn't even have to do this step. Only if you wanted to. Now I put a lot right there, and you can see that. I think this lid needs a little bit of something, because it doesn't have much going on yet. So I 
think I'm going to give it something. Just wherever you think it's going to look good. Just putting it wherever I think it might. Add a little bit of pizzazz to the lid. I think really that's too much right there, but it's there. But I am liking it in this corner, okay? But because that's there, I think I will add a little bit more over here. I may just add a little bit of this to the top here. I don't want to put a lot because I really do like how this turned out. So I will just put a little bit around this top. Okay, I don't know if you can really see what it's doing just to the edge of this, but I do like the effect it's giving it. So I'm just gonna put it around the top in places, basically just so it doesn't look so flat. But I do like that. over here. Sometimes the more you can add, the better it is when you layer your paint and then sometimes you have to know when to quit because you can do way too much. But basically just go until you like it. There isn't a right or wrong. Now I'm going to go over this because I think that needs a little bit of kind of a richness to it. So we'll come over here. You, But like I said, you could do any color that you wanted with this. It would be so, so pretty. But you can see, I think that added a lot to that, okay? Now we could look through here and just see what we think of putting a little bit here. And like I said, I don't want to lose all that light because I like it. Okay. All right, I think I'm through painting for now. Okay, I've hooked up my glue gun, okay? And I went over the top of this and just paint it over that big spot because I really think it was just too much. Okay, I've taken some rope and I don't know if I get this at the Dollar Tree or Walmart to be honest. Okay, what I'm going to do is just tie a knot in this and then tie another knot in it like that. And then maybe even tie another one on top of that. Okay, then I'm gonna cut this off. Till it looks something like that. I think that's gonna be so cute. Okay, let me do another one. You don't have to, you could leave it on there if you wanted. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take this and see exactly how I want to glue this. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue right here and just stick it about right in here. And I have my spatula. And you could get it coming out of here if you wanted, but I just want mine on top. Then we're gonna take this one and put it right 
try to get it right across from the other one. But if they're not perfect, this is supposed to be very old, so that won't bother me at all. Okay, and then I'll get my spatula and hold that. And we are finished. So let me clean up and I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, now we need to seal it. I almost forgot, okay? So I'm just going to get this Deco Art Americana Decor Light Satin Varnish that I've used before. And I'm just going to take this brush. You do need to use a regular brush when you use this. And I'm just going to seal this because I don't want um, any of my um, work to come off the paint. And I think it definitely will. If tape, painter's tape is pulling it off, it would do it. So, but if you like the more matte look, you could stick with a matte one. I just had the satin and I, it won't bother me. I really do like the satin shine it gives it. So that's what we're going to do. I think it's definitely giving everything a richer look. I still want it to look old, but I'm loving how the satin is looking, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, you see how I'm doing it. I'm gonna be back just as soon as I seal it. Okay, here it is. I put the satin finish on it. I love it. It is so much prettier with that satin finish on it. It just makes it look so much richer and it just lets all that dark really pop out. I love how that turned out. This is such an easy DIY to do, and you can, like I said, you can definitely paint plastic as well. I've done that, but this is so pretty. You could put flowers on it. You could just use it to set something on top. I don't know what I'm gonna do with mine yet, but I wanted to bring this to you in case you wanna make something like this. And I'd like to take the time to wish my mother a very happy Mother's Day and my mother-in-law a very happy Mother's Day and all my sister-in-law's happy Mother's Day. And I'd like to wish every one of you a happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope it's everything that you've hoped for. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.